Hey everybody, Chris Steele here at Steel Frags, and tonight we are reviewing Shagaf Oud, a Swiss Arabian, Shagaf Oud. This is a beauty, and you know, I'm kind of late to the game on this one. Uh, I had this sit in my cart for literally like a year before I pulled the trigger, and I kept hearing, you know, oh man, this is good fragrance here, good fragrance there, people just... You know, and I'm like, okay. I kept thinking, you know, this is a little basic. It's oud, rose, saffron. But no, 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 no. There's a lot more to it. So before we get into the details, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Been getting some good feedback from uh, from the audience. Uh, we got new subscribers. Everything is moving along. You know, this channel started a little while ago, and it's just my little channel where we're doing these fragrances and um, it feels good to really be able to have uh, people with the same kind of interest and uh, taste. So again, thank you guys. And if you have not subscribed yet, please help the world become a better smell at place by smashing the like and subscribe. It does help the channel. Um, it, 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 it really helps push the content. And when the content is being pushed, it doesn't cost you any money. And you know, there's, it, it just helps the content, helps the quality, you know, inspires all of us to continue on our little fragrance journeys. So let me get into the notes of Shagoff Oud by Swiss Arabia. First of all, it's an amber fragrance. So if you're into amber, check it out. Um, it is unisex. And the top note is saffron. The middle note is amber, or not amber, agar wood and rose, which is oud and rose. And then the base, it's oud, praline, and vanilla. Now, in Fragranska, this is listed as an amber fragrance, which I find interesting, considering that it is a very oud-heavy fragrance. So I can't sit here and pretend like, oh, you know, there's no oud in here. It's, it's sweet and delightful and fresh and all those things. This is heavy on the oud, so if you're not a big oud person, um, or if you're you're new to this, you might not want to go with Shagaf oud. Um, some of these Middle Eastern houses bear the name oud, and there's not a single drop of oud in them. This one is true to the name, and it's true to the bottle. So I just want to say I love this bottle. It's like the gaudiest shiny gold bottle you can get. And it's beautiful, I love it. All right, so let's get it on skin so we can experience it together. I don't know if you can see that atomizer, but that thing is beastly. Oh God, and I just sprayed myself three times. Why'd I do that? Oh man, I don't even have to raise my hand to my nose to know what this smells like. Oh, so right out the gate you're getting hit with a very very heavy oud rose this is a dense fragrance this is not um this is not a light fresh airy fragrance this is a very very dense oud rose very heavy thick oud so think cold right now i live in northern illinois so right now it is about three degrees outside with a wind chill of negative 20. So it's very cold. This is, these are the kind of fragrances you wear during that time. Some people say you can wear oud fragrances in the summer. I get it, you know, there are people in the Middle East wear them in the summer, but I'm sorry, I, I've never lived in the Middle East. I, you know, I'm not really, I've never spent time in one of their summers. I know that, um, a summer in Chicago, I'm not putting on oud, okay? I, I'm sorry, I just, I'm I'm exercising my American rights to not wear oud in the summer, so we're not rocking oud in the summer. Okay, so as it dries down, oh my God. Okay, so as it dries down, you do get a little more sweetness. You get a little more praline and vanilla. Oh, so you, you got that saffron and the oud in the top mixed with the rose gives it a very very strong dense oud smell so it's that wood it's that it's that uh thick woody 
syrupy kind of oud. But it's not skanky, though. I know people, certain, certain people have their own definitions of skanky. To me, it's a very transparent oud. It's not a, it's not a skanky oud. I've smelled some, some animalic ouds and those, they have kind of a, a boo-boo accord to them where, you know, if you've ever dealt with uh, livestock or, or been on a farm or something like that has that kind of, this doesn't have that. It has a straight up strong wood accord. Um, and then that praline of vanilla in the bottom just smooths everything out. <sighs> it's very saffron heavy. The saffron gives it almost a sort of powderiness in the oud. But um, I could sit here and rattle on about notes all day. But uh, what I basically get when I get this is a very, very lovely oud rose saffron fragrance for the winter this is sweet it is uh woody and it does have sort of an amber kind of feel to it because of that uh amber is a synthetic note it is not a real note um so essentially amber is something like a sweet resin so you get the wood the sweetness saffron kind of gives you a, an amber accord. All right, so scenarios, occasions. I would definitely say uh, winter. Uh, you could wear this date night. It depends on what kind of uh, what kind of person you're going out with. So if you're a woman, you could definitely wear this, but you have to be more, more on the confident side and you have to be a little more um, adventurous. You have to be a little outgoing. If you wear this and you're, if you wear this and you're a shy little woman, you know, you're pretty and you wear something like this, uh, your date may think that you are a serial killer. So please, outgoing women, reach for this. If you're a little dainty thing that doesn't, you know, doesn't raise her voice, then you should probably stick with something a little more floral or anything like that. No diss to you. It's just, the man you go out with might think you're scary if you're wearing something like this and you're quiet. For men on a date, I would say dress this up. You can dress this down, but I would definitely say dress this up just because I feel that you get a better effect when you dress something like this up. I love dressing up oud fragrances because oud fragrances essentially smell expensive. They, they smell like what, what's in them. Um, although this might not be an authentic oud, it does have the oud accord in it, which has an opulence to it. It kind of has a dress up, rich, rich smell to it. So polos, dress shirts. Uh, I have a particular pea coat I love to wear. I rock something like that in this, especially in this weather. So that kind of thing. Um, so winter, you could pull this off on fall nights if it's a cold night. But I would say stick to the cold weather, possibly spring, no summer, not at all, never, unless you, uh, unless you're into that kinky like choke fetish or something. Don't don't reach for this in the summer; it will choke you the fuck out. Okay, um, what else? Performance, man, not really much to talk about. Let's just say uh, with the performance, you're going to get a good. Two and two and a half hours of projection. Yes, two and two and a half hours of projection. I can smell this right now as my wrist is down here. Um, you're going to get uh, eight plus hours of longevity, and you will get several days of performance if you spray this anywhere on your on your garments. So, be mindful of that. Do not uh, go too crazy with this one because. With like any other strong oud fragrance, it can become very, very cloying and you do not want to annoy people or uh, disturb people's respiratory systems with your with your non-discretion towards spraying your, your fragrances. So in other words, just, you know, be mindful of that. Be considerate that other people have to breathe the air that you breathe and maybe not all of them want to uh, inhale, uh, you know a whole oud tree or something like that. So what else? Here we go. Um, 
So performance, scenarios, price, price is great. Uh, about 30 bucks, 25 to 30 bucks on Amazon will get you Shagoth Oud. Um, this is an older uh, fragrance, but nonetheless, it is still great. Uh, I tend to be one of those kinds of people. I do not just run out and buy something just because it's new. Um, there are a lot of older fragrances that are out there that are still worth every penny and their prices have gone down just because they're not in the limelight. And I feel like with those kinds of fragrances, you really, really, really have to capitalize on it because fragrances do discontinue, fragrances do get reformulated, and the grass is not always greener on the other side. Just because something is new does not necessarily mean that it is going to perform great and smell great. You know, a lot of times these fragrances come out they're emulating one fragrance that was from the past. And so you, you get what I'm saying, you know, newer is not always better. Sometimes you got to reach back and go in your cart and pick up on those little ones that, you know, slip through the cracks. And this is definitely one that has been, but I will be wearing this very much so for the next couple months. Um, it will be getting some play in my rotation because this has just the right kind of accord. I love that oud mixed with the sweetness. Chef's kiss. Trust me. All right. Well, that's my review. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Um, it's been a great journey so far. Uh, let's continue to keep it that way. So like, comment, subscribe, share, let your friends know that um, there's some little dude out here on YouTube who can hook you up with Middle Eastern fragrances and uh, help you, you know, be a better smelling human being, make the world a better smelling place. You know the deal. Also, one last thing before I jump off of here. Um, I have been looking at some of the feedback and uh, I've decided that I probably will be doing some uh, different content on the channel just as far as uh, I'm, I won't be I won't be abandoning my men's fragrances. I'll be doing these just just the same as I have, um, but I will be adding to it. Uh, Probably uh, the first thing I would like to cover are aftershaves because as you can see, when I first started this channel, I was bearded up. I had a nice, crazy little lumberjack beard. Uh, but since I've been kind of clean shaven, uh, so I want to give my two cents on some very nice aftershaves that I've come across. They are affordable, they smell great, and they can um, layer very well with your colognes. But anyway, that's for another video. Until next time, you guys stay safe, stay blessed, and as always, peace.